Prophetic Messages from the Lord, the 28th of January, 2017. This is a list of prophetic messages from various prophets of the Lord consolidated into a format presented to you. The Father says, Many are looking for me to come down, but I have said that you are invited to come up here. You are not forbidden and the veil was torn over 2,000 years ago. You have ownership. You carry more significance in your being than you could ever imagine. You have my blueprints and DNA. I do not make mistakes. I desire to be with you always, so I made a way when all seemed lost. All that was available to you from the very beginning is fully open to you now. What your body cannot do, your spirit surely was created to walk in. If you hold out your hands with a desire and expectation, I will meet you where you are. David, as a mere boy, worshipped at my feet long before he saw all that I had written out for his life. Just like David, you would be astonished at what I desire to do for you as well. You have to ask yourself, who is in control, really, in my life? When you seek my will, there are times I will set before you the exact steps and means for you to carry out. And other times, I will hand you a box of keys and tell you to let your heart soar. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Do not confuse your moments of when you are to do which. Many go about on their own path because they believe I am denying them of something wonderful only to find that what they thought was good turned out to be a big mistake. I will keep you safe when you are walking in my will. I know what is ahead and what you are likely to get distracted by. I am not caught off guard by what you would choose. You are unique and so I have you on a unique course in speed. Some are able to go faster and some will go slower. What is for today may not be how the very next moment moves in and around you. What happens in a day does not define your experiences nor how your future will unfold. You have choices and decisions that will impact and shape more than you have anticipated. Come up higher if you want to understand what is hidden. I am the author and finisher of your faith. Did you hear that? You are not moving by your own strength and abilities. You are not living in what you think nor believe either. You are walking in the realms of all things are possible. You already have everything you need for that miracle to come to life before you. I am watching over my word in every hour, for it will perform and not return void. This includes what I have spoken over your life. I am not a God who makes idle claims with no intention in coming through on your behalf. What are you waiting on me for? Stretch out your hand of faith, for it is your faith that brings my glory. It is your crying out that I respond uh, that I respond to with great speed. Today is your day to receive an increase of faith beyond what you think you can carry. Faith of your Lord who is endless and has no beginning or end. Faith that will indeed move those mountains. Faith that will restore even the most broken and desperate of situations. Without faith you cannot please your Lord. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Breathe in my spirit. Let the flow come in and out of you, filling up the atmosphere. The shift and change is all around. Nothing from this moment will ever be the same. Grab a hold of all that I that I set aside, for it has your name on it. You will not be denied. You will not walk in lack. Your latter days shall be greater than your former. Just believe and you will receive. My glory is behind you. My glory is beside you. My glory is ahead of you. The atmosphere has shifted, which has caused confusion, and the hope you have been clinging to has been tested and shaken. But you will not be deterred if you don't allow discouragement to come and settle in. The enemy is desperate to stop what I have ordained. Hold your head up. The windows of revelation are opening. You are becoming more of who you truly are in me than you have noticed in seasons past. The cutting away of, of who is not truly mine will seem like a giant chasm at times. Don't let this cause you to stumble. I am shaking the nations and the churches. Business as usual will be done away with. The refiner's fire is all around. 
and I am calling my people higher as a pure light for the world to see. What used to be left undressed will now be dealt with. Getting by being partial of the world will no longer give you the satisfaction that was once acceptable to you. I am creating a hunger and thirst for real, authentic power in the rainbow words and logos teachings. I am strengthening my vessels to withstand the kingdoms that will rise up against them. The hours of deception have infiltrated, creating chaos and lies to be believed as truth. I am putting an end to the rebellion in your streets for this is like witchcraft before me. Man is a lover of his own truth and these walls are coming down. I have spoken my will over the land and yet people feel that it is still up for debate. It is not. I will silence and put to shame those who wish harm towards my chosen. I am not in past movements that my people once flourished in. Many are wanting things the way they used to be, but there is no power still in what was. I am in your now. I am establishing what should be for your todays, not yesterdays. I am not a boring God, and behold, I do a new thing. None of my chosen vessels in the Bible were carbon copies of each other, and each had their own unique signs, wonders, and miracles that were for their journey. My church fails to acknowledge and walk in what I am up to now because they only want a handful of known signs by my hand and voice. The biblical generations walk daily in the new that was moving and shifting around them, but who is hoping I would do the unheard of today? When they see it, they deny it is by my power and authority. What is familiar will not truly satisfy nor take you to the heights that are indeed your portions. Expect me to do what has never been and you will truly be where I desire you to be. Ask me to do the unseen in your life and you will walk in days that astonish even the best skeptics. Ask for a little, get little. Ask for everything and you will receive everything. I am willing to do far more than my people are thinking I would do. Take a risk every day in our relationship. I will show up as you place your faith and trust in me alone. Mankind's logical mind will not get you to where I want you to stand in. What was it logical that I would part the Red Sea after I pushed Pharaoh to chase Moses? I am not parting your Red Seas today, for I have new glories to show up on your behalf with, which are much more spectacular. Do you believe I could and would? Dance with me today and celebrate today, not for what I did thousands of years ago. Today we feast at my table, and today I will deliver you with my majesty beyond imagining. What you can't control is so because I am in control. Let go. Stop pushing and pulling. I will take it from here. I cannot fail and I will not fail. You are passing through this life. Try not to get stuck on, a cer on certain moments. You are becoming closer and closer to what I created you to be. What seems like an issue is just an opportunity for me to overflow my love upon you. If you never had a need or desire that I could fulfill, then what kind of father would I be to you? You were created in my image, and what you desire for your own children allows you to have just a tiny glimpse into how I feel about you. My storehouse are open and overflowing with your name on it. Let me remove the debris that is in the way from you receiving. The territories you will be going to require different and foreign ways of dealing with what is to come. You were prepared by my hand in secret during the still of the night. Even though you feel unprepared and far from ready, trust me, you are ready. I would not send you if you were only being set up to fail. Lean on me and you will walk through any circumstance in triumph. You are going to get used to the unfamiliar and you will thrive with joy. What you thought was an exciting life can't even compare to what you are about to see. I am replacing what was broken or just wouldn't perform the way you had hoped and giving you what is untouchable to the enemy. Release the days of frustration for that is not how the future will be. When you believe in the change, then you will see it right before your feet, where once you were blind, but now you see. Today, my divine revelation is hitting my people with the accuracy that only I can deliver. Long-standing confusion will be ended with my voice. My sword cuts through the atmosphere. You will know that you know my will like no other time in your life. The days of wondering, the what-ifs are, are dissipating. 
find my hand pushing you through the next door with a speed and quickness that would take your breath away. What you were waiting on has been completed. It is time, it is time. Gather your to-do list, for I am doing an altering of what you thought was your assignment to what is actually my positioning. You are not far off, but you will miss the purpose if not adjusted. I am placing in your hands new weapons. Do not let anything distract you into putting these down to pick up something else. See the offers before you with discernment. What comes like a gift could be a Trojan horse. Be on guard and mindful for the enemy is like a roaring lion looking to devour those not paying attention. I will set your feet upon high places to see the battlefield and what is hidden. Tomorrow you will advance and put an end to what has come against you. The powerless will be full of my power and authority to cut the head off of the snake. You will trample on scorpions and take what is yours. There is no weapon formed against you that will prosper. What seemed like a setback and failure will be your stage of victory. How you used to operate has been done away with and you have been given a whole new way of dealing with and stepping over adversity. The enemy recently looked at you to see what he could see. He wanted to see if it was you or me that he would see. Yes, my child, he indeed sees me. I will make this place as beautiful as a garden in my presence. You judge your brethren according to the sense of right and wrong in your own mind, but never is it within your power to judge or withhold my grace from anyone. In doing so, you remove yourself from your own blessing, which is to be forgiven. You make yourself the very thing that you didn't forgive, choosing to be king instead of receiving him. You think having your weakness removed from you will give you great power and strength, that walking and freedom is walking in strength. It is my desire that you not make this mistake. I am your freedom and I am your strength. It is your portion and calling to be hidden in me. As you stand in my presence, you walk in my strength. You would know all I am doing. I do it for your good. This will be seen as a testimonial for you that I am working to bless and magnify you. I am here, I am here. Do not doubt for a moment that I am with you. Tell my children I hear every cry of their hearts and I hold every tear. Nothing escapes me. I know all things as I am the author of all. You have been on a long journey, a process of skilled refining by the fiery trials and tribulations of this life. All you have experienced has led up to this moment, this season of great change. Do not doubt for a single moment that all that I have spoken shall come to pass. Soon you will have more clarity concerning my timing and my design. Trust me, obey. This is the most precious gift you can offer me, your radical faith that you believe I am who I am. The enemy caused unrest and many of my people are unsettled. This is not from me. I give you my perfect peace and ask you to enter into my rest. I am will bring order out of chaos and it is my perfect love that casts out all fear. Open your hearts fully to receive my complete indwelling. My remnants, prepare yourselves to receive the full measure of my outpouring as I fill you, my vessels to overflowing. Your master is completing the final refining in you, my vessels, to fully equip you for all you are about to do for me to gather the lost and bring them home. Do not resist these last steps. They are essential to mold and shape you into all I have purpose for you in this life. You are ever so near to the finish line. Resist the devil and he will flee. Do not believe his lies. Be so careful to not become distracted. Seek me earnestly for I shall always be found. Continue to give me your everything and I will show you wonders you would not have previously believed. I am doing a new and wonderful thing. Such glory awaits those who remain faithful. I tell you, I am coming for you. I am coming. Be faithful, remain steadfast, have courage and believe. I love you, my faithful ones. I love you. The master is coming. The master is coming with healing in his wings, pouring out a blessing on those who have prayed, a reward for his faithful and just punishment for those disobedient. Ample warning has been given to amend your ways and your doings. Great deception sweeps the nations. 
Men following men instead of God, men asking ungodly men for answers to godly questions, seeking wisdom and knowledge from men having none. Why do you labor following men who preach false doctrine and lies? You have been sent the Holy Spirit as teacher and guide. You need no other. You have lost your way, floundering in a darkness of deception. Those who do not open their eyes and ears to my ways will perish for lack of knowledge. No earthly man can save you or teach you my ways. Behold, I am coming on a cloud with thunder and lightning. Have you repented and turned from your sinful ways? Are you separated from the world and worldly people? Have you removed the idols in your heart? Who do you worship and praise yourself? Money? You have become a slave and you can't even see it. You chase worthless and foul things, evil and unclean. What about your children? Do they know me and pray to me? You have created a vile, uncaring generation who do not honor mother or father, who do not respect others or care for the widow or elderly, a generation of wanters, not doers. Then you stand before me in my house, not praising my name, begging me for things. I have seen you in the dark. You know I see all. You can't hide your sin from me. My messengers warn you day and night, over and over, now for years. How long do you think I will let this unrepentant sin continue? You don't know me. I will not hear you unless you do my will. I will close the door on you. I will close my ears and my eyes to your call. Yes, I will say I never knew you. You will look for me with understanding. You will see the world win. I am the fire within. I am the all-consuming fire. I send the whirlwind. Do not be afraid when I speak to you. I am near. I am always with you. I speak to you in the quiet. You have a prophet among you, humble and contrite, as one who left in a whirlwind, so has one returned in the same whirlwind. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, what will you do? I have sent you my prophets before. Two shall come to you in my name. Will you accept them? I will open the eastern gate. I will enter in my city. I send before me my messengers and prophets. What will you do? All the world's eyes will be upon you. You will see trouble and turmoil. Your friends will reject you. Prepare for the battle. I see you are searching. You will not find unless you seek me first. I am the key that will open the door and window of your ears and eyes. You will understand what I will you to understand. With so much knowledge around you, you, you still can't find your way. Let me share this mystery as you search. Open your heart. My witnesses will be known by one thing only. I have placed my testimony in their mouth. You need no other truth. So stop searching and following. Like a beacon, they will be seen as my mouthpiece. They will be heard. Do not trust deceptive words. For many will say, I am this witness, or look at me, I am the one. Believe them not and flee. The adversary has his own in place to lead you astray. Your spirit will discern the truth. Trust nothing else. Follow no man. Expect the unexpected. Time is short. This concludes the prophetic messages from the Lord for the 28th of January 2017. For prophetic words of exhortation, please see the link below leading you to the transcript of this message. Thank you and God bless.